What's up? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Neil Bone Fishing. Today we're gonna try to get us some good fish. See what's biting. Got a couple rods with me. Got some lures. See what's hitting. Alright, doesn't look like much. But here we go. Got out of the wind. This looks pretty great right here. So we're gonna we're gonna do some work here. Here we go. This is what we need. This is a game changers lure half ounce it is a jig that doesn't have a brush guard it has a uh, screw lock definitely something different it's built on the hammer hook got a mono leader here so i could definitely use the uh, palmer knot with this with fluoro definitely not the knot you want to use palmer knot for hard hook sets are not that great with fluoro here we go on here i got a uh let me show you this bad boy so it is a mini skirt jig it has a little screw keeper here screw lock pretty weedless definitely a lot of grass out there i had to throw on like a uh it's the grass the rocks i don't know it feels odd Yeah, some grass. All right, we're gonna bite. We got one. Come on, baby, come to daddy. <sighs> Man, why did I do that? Come here. You almost got away from me, you little dude. Yeah, look at that. A little grass. Not bad, a little dude here. First fish of the day. This dude here. Alright, go on, buddy. So as I was sitting there, just ripping the bait through the grass. I guess just that little action of ripping it through the grass is enough to make the bass come and strike it. Yeah, see, there's the grass. Just rip it through. All right, we're gonna bite. This is a better one. Little sucker, little sucker got away. And I flung that hook right into my finger there. It would have got me, but the hook hit the bone. Your skin's very thin there, so it couldn't get me, but I could definitely feel a little bit of pain there. Um, but you know, it's tough love, you know? Already. This is a weird angle that I'm at. Why am I keep losing them at the bank here? There we go, a lot of little dinks. Not too bad. Keep losing them at the bank here. I think uh, my rod's a little stiff or something, but it's a medium heavy. I'm just kind of letting him slingshot off the hook here. I mean, this bait is beat torn up. Let's change that out. These are a little tricky to put on. You got to really squeeze your bait while pushing down on it. Slippery. I'm on fire today.
little dink, man. We're trying to upgrade you guys. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Last time I went on something like this, it didn't turn out very good for me. We stuck on. Oh wow, good thing. Uh, I actually almost. Ah, where's my rod at? Yeah, that happened. Pretty crazy. You don't want to touch none of this stuff. That's all poison ivy there. The tree debarked on me. This looks okay. Don't know how good my hook set's gonna be here, but we're gonna figure it out. Situate it. Right there, that's the money spot. We were gonna bite. Yeah, let's get back down here. Come oh, on, big chungus. That was a hard bite right there. Right away. That's what they want. They want that green pumpkin. Man. All right, let's see. So pretty much, I barely had him hooked because the, the hook didn't come through the bait. Let me try that. That was a weird bite. That was a cool one. Oh my goodness. What? Heck yeah, dude. Dude, my first pike. What? Come here. Buddy, 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 buddy. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heck yeah, man. My first pike ever. Dude, what's up, man? Check you out. That's awesome. Look at this guy. I know people don't like these, but I, I love them, man. I love all fish. This dude is awesome. Ah, they're so slippery. Ah, that's cool. That, dude, that was so cool, that pike. Uh, I was, like, kind of speechless because I didn't know really what was going on there. He kind of bit it as it was coming in. It wasn't, like, I didn't get to really enjoy him too much. and uh, I didn't really know how to handle that pike. You know, it's a problem, you know? Just not a fish I catch too often. I think we're going to change spots. See where else we could find. Here we go on to the next spot. Look at this. We got some pads here, some slob. I'm gonna definitely throw a frog around here, see what happens. We'll probably catch a nice pike that way. We got this little island here we're gonna chill out on. Oh, I guess something lives in there. Hey buddy, we're just barring your little hut. Alright, gonna bust out the old good old popping perch. Try by this dock here. Oh, shooting frog. Man, what the heck am I doing wrong? All right, I have a better feeling about this frog here. Feels softer, easier to puncture. Feels heavier too. Perfect spot. I can see this one pretty good too. I don't know, the other frog's good. I just suck at frog and you know, something that I don't really do often, but I'm trying to change that. So, hey, if there's something you see I'm doing wrong, let me know. I'm more of the buzz toad and the uh, buzz bait guy, you know? But I definitely want to get better with the frog because in situations like this, you can't throw a buzz bait. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I was here yesterday, called Pike Iconelli. About to try to catch another pike out of here and some bass. It was a pretty good day yesterday, but the time had to get cut short. There we go, we got the Green Pumpkin Trash Master with one of my favorite trailers. This is a Berkeley Chigger Crawl.
get ready for this hook set. This one's good. This is a good one. That was good. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Check you out, dude. Looking pretty darn good. What's going on beneath the water, dude? Yeah. I'm gonna, relax. We're going to get you right back in there. Here we are. First fish of the day. Caught this bad man. We're going to throw his butt back in the water. Pretty nice looking bass. He even smells bassy. All right, dude. Swim on. Adios. We're gonna get in our stance. Oh, we're gonna bite. Ah. We're missing a pincher. It's okay. Most people would change a bait out right now. We'll still catch one with one pincher. It's not a problem. It just looks like nature, you know? Alright, let's get ready. Set that hook. It doesn't matter. Just beat it. Here we go. Got another one. It's also pretty good. So long. Come here, buddy. Let's not make a scene here. Beat it. Oh, he was hooked good. There we go. We got another one. These little dudes are chewing the jig up. Not bad. All right. There we go. Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Craw. Really awesome bait, got the stank to it. Never beat a Berkeley bait, man. This is a half ounce right here. Got that so it could punch through the grass a little bit better. I've not caught a smallmouth out of here yet. I'm not sure if they're in here. There we go, pop it up out that grass. Now we probably get a bite here. Yep. I'm getting a bite. These dudes are diggers, man. Oh, my drag slipping. He's, he, yeah, he, man. Holy moly, get over here, dude. He wants his wood. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Going in, boys. feet bless them feet <sighs> man fell in more than I wanted to need some slack only, only thing that's oh, getting deep <laughs> Man, this dude felt much bigger. Ah, there we go. Man, this dude had some power. We're in there. Dude, he put up some trouble, dude. Check him out, man. This was the dude that got us up in the water, man. Well, you swim on, dude. Man, you felt so big. I need to check my drag. Yeah. See you later.
Alright, what's my drag looking like? Yeah, that was mad loose. This reel doesn't have the most craziest pounds of drag, you know, I think it's only like 12 or 13 max pounds, but hey, I, I don't have a problem with it. Oh, hit them with the old Davy Gravy hook set. I'm gonna mess around over here a bit. We got the dock. This looks pretty good right here. A little bit more windier right here. All right, let's throw this trash master in. Relax, buddy. Relax. Let me, let me figure this out. He's got a growth on his tongue. Well, you must have got pretty close to your eye there, buddy. Little dink right there. Not bad, huh? Get this dude where he needs to go. Alright, caught that little guy up near the sticks. Oh, a little snake coming this way. Let me stay still. We could we could see him. I'll get the net. We'll catch him. Can't let him see me. All right, he's coming this way. To the land. Let me get closer here. You guys see that little snaky thing? There he is. I have a feeling he's going to... All right, come up here, buddy. The rocks are warm. All right, chill out right in front of us. You're all mine, buddy. I'll let you get a little closer. I have a really good sense I get tasty air. Get the net up over my shoulders. We got one shot at this. One... Two. What am I waiting for? We got him. Okay, dude. Look at that head flare up. Wow. Hey, hey, can we talk about it? Hey. Hey. He's gonna strike. You got that head. What are you doing, dude? Getting a taste? Whoa. 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 Calm down. Oh, he's musking right now. He really stinks. All right, this dude settled down a little bit. Little water snake. He was musking earlier, but we're gonna let this guy go. He has a really cool pattern here. Check him out. He's wrapping around, but he stinks. He's a stinky boy. Gonna get this dude back into the water. You go down there. This dude guy, he eats like night crawlers and bait fish. You know, let him go. Ah, he's like, once revenge, you don't want nothing with this dude. Keep it moving. All right, so here we are. This is the Trash Master. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the Trash Master. Throw this thing in anything you want. All the slop, all that nasty stuff. I guess that's where it gets its name. This bait is really awesome right here. This is an awesome jig. Using this jig, you're cutting out the middle, man. Such as this guy right here. You don't have to worry no more about the brush guard, you know. You don't need to worry if it's too stiff or soft or trim it. None of that. No brush guard here. It comes through the grass much nicer right there. It comes through, it's like fishing a Texas rig. Now, if you fish something like this, you are going to collect grass on this brush guard right here. But this came through so clean. Now, I did make a mistake while fishing this, and I was uh, pretty quick to figure out what was going on. Now, when I first fished this out there, I kept losing a fish at the bank, and I was wondering, why is that? Why are they keep falling off at the bank? Well, the reason why is I had it hooked up like this. I had the hook in the middle of the bait here. Now the problem is with that, when you have a setup like that, when a fish bites it, this bait has got to stretch so far out and it gets stuck in there. If you do happen to get them, you see that I can't even get the hook to come out. Let me fix this. So what happens is this has to stretch over this round bend here and you see it really is struggling to get over that. So I pretty much would have the fish pinned just by a little bit. And then when I'd hit the bank, you know, they kept falling off. As soon as slack went in line, they would just, once they did a little jump, they were gone. Now, once I change over to the way that they recommended on the back of the pack here, and uh, it's pretty funny, I didn't have this pack with me. I said, let me try to put it through. When I came home, I seen this. I said, I knew that's why it was. So that's how they recommend to go through the bait like that, and then you're going to take your bait and you're going to expose it. And keep it stuck in there now what happens when a fish bites it this gets out of the way and this is able to go down and shank it a hook 
or to bend it a hook much easier to give you all that room to pin the fish. Once I did it that way, I lost no fish. Now this definitely could be one of the one and only jig you really need. There was nothing bad about it. It came through the cover very nice. The paint that they use on here is really good. It did not chip or scratch or wear off at all. This jig looked brand new at all times. Also, this jig is hand tied and they do have a wide selection of colors. All the colors you need. Really, you need a green pumpkin and a black and blue. But they have all, all the different colors, the peanut butter and jellies, and it's just really awesome. Built on a 6 aught hammer hook. It's the same hook that the Googans use for their hooks. So, really awesome bait. I definitely highly recommend it, especially if you're not very well with fishing jigs. This is definitely a jig that will get you hookups. It's just like fishing a Texas rig. If you want to step your jig game up, try this. And then, you know, you could go on and try these different kind of jigs. But this might be the easiest jig to fish right here. So simple, so weedless, really great. Trash Master, definitely big thumbs up. Great idea, so awesome. And uh, that's gonna wrap this up, so.